Welcome back to the channel guys, Chill Scissors here, and you already know it's time for yet another pickups video. It's been quite some time since we've put out a pickups video, and we've collected a lot of games, accessories, and collectibles out in the wild. I'm here to share those with you. Furthermore, before we dive into these and what I've found, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button so hard it turns blue, help boost me up the YouTube algorithm to reach out to fellow collectors and gamers just as yourself, and yeah, let's jump into some of these pickups uh, a lot of things have dropped we have the new Metroid we have the new Mario Party we have um, you know new Zelda stuff in the mix um, we just got Skyward Sword so all bases and cylinders are on full nostalgia uh, where I'm going back and playing through a lot of these games it's been quite some time since I put out one of these like I said I've been doing a lot of renovating. Um, I went through my closet. I'll probably, it's a whole other separate video for something like that. Uh, game room renovations. Uh, but we've picked up Zelda games, you know, some Metroid uh, items, some GameCube, and uh, just a, a bunch of goodies. So uh, let's start off here with a Nintendo GameCube title. I've been trying to get my hands on this title for quite some time, but every time I come across it, it's either in not very good condition or it's actually um, way overpriced. But I finally came across, across a clean copy of uh, 1080 Avalanche for the Nintendo GameCube. I beat this within days of purchasing it, and uh, it is a blast. It's absolutely as fun as I remember playing it whenever I had the, my very own copy way back in the day. So this one, you know, you're a snowboarder. You get to pick your character. Each character is unique um, with their different stat levels. Uh, but you snowboard down these hills and whenever you get to the finale then there's a big avalanche and you have to make it to the end This game was really challenging a lot of fun um, Me and my wife and really enjoy the multiplayer aspect of it uh, We're really competitive whenever it comes to games like this. So we had a blast playing the multiplayer But uh, 1080 avalanche super cool. This one was the bonus uh, double disc It's actually currently in my GameCube, but it came with a bonus DVD uh, of some snowboarding footage. I tried to put it in my GameCube, but uh, it would not work, so you have to actually, I guess, put it in a DVD player. But anyway, happy to have that one complete in my collection. Very, very happy to have that. Uh, good fr uh, friend and uh, viewer of the channel here, uh, buddy of mine Derek, threw in this in our recent trade as a bonus because he had an extra. but. Here recently, uh, the um, it was Burger King. Burger King was having a deal where at the launch of, around the launch of Zelda Link's Awakening, then you could get this little dude. He's super cute. Uh, he's got that little courageous um, smirk on his face and he's sitting on like a little trolley with wheels, but I got this one sealed. Uh, so yeah, he just threw that one in as a bonus in one of our recent trades. So thank you, Derek. Uh, really appreciate that. It looks really cool up on the shelf, and it's definitely a piece that is uh, something somebody might look at and strike up a conversation because it's just very unique. Uh, this next one I found on clearance at my local game store. Uh, shout out to our Retro Gamer Dad. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, head on over to his channel. Just check him out. Um, like, comment, subscribe on all of his content. Just a well-rounded, awesome dude. Um, but he recently picked this up as well on his recent pickup video. But uh, this is none other than Batman VR uh, for the PS4, uh, PSVR uh, adapter or console, whichever you prefer. Uh, but man, I really enjoy this. This is a mature rated Batman game and it man it really delivered i really enjoyed it the only downside that um i would speak on this game is it's the shortest game i've ever played um you know i beat it in one sitting and i completed it in the second sitting um i really wish that they made the game a lot longer because what they did put into it was absolutely extraordinary um and the mature rating just really drew me in 
and I did not know off the cuff that this was a mature rated title until I started playing it. I was like, man, this is really brutal. And then whenever I was watching uh, Iowa Retro Gamer Dad's uh, video, he mentioned that it was mature. I was like, that makes sense. You know, the game uh, really, really holds no bars and um, it, it's just, it's brutal. But the ability to you know, pick up Batman's mechanicals uh, from him with his utility belt and actually physically examine them and, you know, throw the Batarang, shoot the uh, grappling hook and all of the, all of the things in between. Um, I really enjoyed it very, it was very short, but uh, from that short time that I did play it for, for the like five bucks that I paid for it, definitely worth it. And uh, real quick guys, how do you like the new camera? I got new camera, new uh, new lighting. Um, so let me know as we progress the channel, then I invest in back into the channel to give you guys um, the highest quality that we can possibly put out. Uh, this camera, this new camera that we got from the channel is 8K capable. We probably won't be running that uh, for a while. Um, you know, there's just no point because 4K uh, looks just fine um, and I really like the the color and the uh, the crystal clarity I just want to bring you guys the um, you know the the uh, camera that you guys deserve to enjoy help enjoy the channel as much as you possibly can so uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new camera I think it looks really awesome a lot more uh, details and clear and but moving right along we have a big item um, I consider to be a big item so those of you that don't know I recently um, conducted a, a trade with my good buddy Derek as we spoke on earlier in the video um, but I traded him um, essentially three titles um, for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Edition something I never thought I would actually have in my possession but uh, one of which was a complete inbox copy of the Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks and this one we have finally got back into the collection uh, this was a Franken piece uh, what I mean by that is I got this at a garage sale um, about a, about 40 minutes from my house uh, for ten dollars and then I got the case um, and manuals so it is 100% complete. It's got uh, the, the manuals and all of the extra stuff in there. Uh, but I got the case for uh, 15 bucks online. So all together, this piece we got back into our collection for around 25 bucks. And online it's going for upwards, you know, 70, 80, may, maybe in the high end around 100, uh, complete in box. So yeah, j just a yet another article that I got back from that trade. Ultimately, looking to get back everything that I traded off. Um, and so far, only thing we need back now is a comp the box for Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. We have the cart, but we need the box and uh, I have the manual, I just need that box. So if you guys know of anybody that has an extra box that they wanna sell, then uh, let me know. I would definitely be interested. So moving right along, we got quite a bit more to go here. Um, I'll go ahead and throw this one in there. Uh, this one was an Amiibo that uh, I think was a re-release for um, the new Metroid Dread that came out. But we have um, Ridley uh, Amiibo. Look at him. He's just absolutely beastly. Uh, he even like he kind of outgrows the base, you know. He, he's just he has the explosion uh, stuff that goes around his feet, but he's extremely detailed as far as amiibos go. He is a pretty big boy, um, but we got him from the local GameStop uh, for a really really good price. Considering online they go for a lot more than retail. Uh, I believe I got him for. $13.99 and then only on average right now in today's market around $30 plus uh, you might get one here and there that might be a little bit lower than that but 
um, through my local vintage stock. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but around here uh, we have a game store called Vintage Stock, and I'm a like uh, quote like pro member. So they send me a message every time they go for a promotional deal, and I cash in on them every time. The reason for that is because they're a buy one get one deal, and how can you pass up a free game? You know, so if you go in there and spend whatever you can get the same equal um, or lesser amount for free so uh, cashed in we got a couple of games that I would love to play with my wife uh, me and her are very advocate uh, very big advocates in the platform fighter genre but we got uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 for the Xbox 360 we uh, absolutely adored in the Naruto series uh, the Clash of the Ninja series on the Nintendo GameCube. We have uh, one and two that we just played the crap out of, um, beat the crap out of each other. And for the free game, I got uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. So I got both of these um, uh, complete. Uh, I think I paid around $10 uh, for both. So about one for 10, got the next one. Um, for Tim as well, so we got that one with the case and manual and Ninja Storm 2 case and manual. We have not yet uh, cracked these and played them yet, but uh, if they're anything like the previous games, then we are up for a really fun time. So, uh, Ninja Storm series got one and uh, two and three. Um, this next one, my wife found in a local flea market, um, we got it for I think it was five bucks. Uh, but is a double pack. So we got um, a Sega Superstars Tennis, uh, and then on the back side, this one really throws me back on the original Xbox 360. Uh, this just graphic, you know, the arcade style uh, and the home screen, um, RIP original 360 home screen. But this is the Xbox Live on Arcade um, compilation disc, so it comes with. Yeah, five bucks right there, but it comes with a handful of games. Um, but yeah, for five bucks for two games that I think me and my wife will enjoy, uh, why not? Um, I'm kind of a sucker whenever it comes to these these bonus packs. Um, I don't know why. I think these are like pack-ins that were promotional deals for whatever you purchased a console or something like that. I know some of them were sold separately. Um, not for a package for distribute separate from the Xbox 360 console. Yeah, this was a pack in, it says right here. So I definitely nailed it. This was sold with the console as a promotional item so that you'll be able to get, you know, a couple games with your new console you just purchased. So maybe that's why it's more nostalgic for me. Uh, these next few items were freebies. Um, that were thrown in with a bundle and I, I just asked him, you know, hey, what are you gonna do with those? Are those just empty cases? And he's like, here, you can have them, I, I don't know, here. Um, and there were three games <clears throat> and can't quite remember what, there were some really good titles in there. For PlayStation 2, we got uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, uh, loose, uh, just, the, just the case, but if somebody hands you a uh, game that you don't have and it's a fairly, you know, it's around $30, $40 game, then you're not going to say no. Um, so I'll probably seek out just the case of manual on its own because that is a pretty cool title. Uh, this next one is uh, Crash Nitro Kart. I've never played it. If you guys know anything about it, let me know in the comments below. Um, loose, of course, again. And then, last but not least, we have um, Inno Cross 2. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, loops. Take it or leave it. You know, it's, it's whatever. But um, somebody hands you a stack of free games. It's hard to say no. So, guys, that's all we got. We have uh, uh, we have more, but it's oh, it's a whole other separate title or separate video because it's it's really 
really high-end collectible toys and I would like to start sharing uh, those kind of separate because uh, you know you have your video game video game side of things and then you have your toys and this these don't pertain to video games directly you'll know more whenever the video comes out but guys thank you so much if you made it this far in the video and uh, till next time guys keep keep it cool and peace